we have studied a lot about the concepts and different cases of compound interest. So in order to strengthen those concepts, let us solve a few problems. The first problem that we solve states that Sachin had made a fixed deposit of rupees 1 lakh. After two years, he got an amount of rupees 1 lakh 44,000 compounded annually. And we have to find out the rate of interest earned by him. Or in other words, the bank where he had deposited rupees 1 lakh and got back rupees 1 lakh 44,000, we have to find out the rate of interest being offered by that bank. Now we have been given the principle P is equal to rupees 1 lakh. The amount that he is receiving A is equal to rupees 1 lakh 44,000. And it has also been given to us that the time period for which he invested the money is two years. So time T is equal to two years. And this is what has been given to us. So these are the three things known to us and we can apply the formula A is equal to P one plus R by 100 whole to the power of N, where N is the time, R is the rate which you have to find out, P is the principal which is 1 lakh and A is the amount received. So now I simply replace the values that have been given to us. A is equal to 1 lakh 44,000, P is equal to 1 lakh. 1 plus R, which is the value which you have to find out. I write as R and N is equal to 2 years. So this is the equation that we obtain. Now this equation can be simplified if I perform cross multiplication or in other words, if I bring 1 lakh to the left hand side of the equation. So 1 lakh 44,000 divided by 1 lakh will give me, if I cancel out these zeros, then I get 144 by 100. So 144 by 100 is equal to 1.44, 1 plus R by 100 whole square. So this is the equation that I have. Now 1.44 is nothing but the square of 1.2. Or in other words, if I take the square root of 1.44, I will get back 1.2. So if I perform square root on both sides, what will I get? I will get 1.2 is equal to 1 plus R by 100. So this is what I get. Now I will bring 1 to the left hand side of the equation. So that will be equal to 1.2 minus 1. 1.2 minus 1 is 0.2. So 0 0.2 will be equal to R divided by 100. Now it is a simple matter of cross multiplication. So this yields R is equal to 100 into 0.2. That is nothing but 20%. So 20% is the rate of interest that was earned by Sachin. Or in other words, Sachin had invested rupees 1 lakh at a rate of 20% compounded annually. Let us solve another sum. Now in this sum it's stated that Rashi lends a sum of rupees 1 lakh to her friend at a rate of 10%. And this is compounded annually. Now at the end of a given period of time, she receives an amount of 1 lakh 21,000. So now we have to find out what is that period of time. Or in other words, we have to find out the value of n. So over here as we see, the principal is rupees 1 lakh. The amount received by Rashi is rupees 1 lakh 21,000. And the rate has been given to us that is the rate of interest charged by Rashi equal to 
So this is the information that has been given to us. And from this we have to calculate for what period of time, that is n years, for what period of time Rashi had lent the sum to her friend. So we will apply the same formula, A is equal to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole to the power of N. So over here we know A, we know P and we know R and we have to calculate the value of N. So I simply replace the value for what I know. The value of A is 1,21,000. The value of P is 1 lakh. The value of R is given as 10. And we have to calculate the value of N. So this is the equation that I have obtained. Now if I simply cross multiply and bring 1 lakh to the left hand side, what will I get? I cancel out these zeros and I will get 121 divided by 100. So 121 divided by 100 is equal to 1.21. So 1.21 is equal to and I perform a simple calculation on this side as well. So I cancel out this zero and I am left with 10 into 1 plus 1 that is 11 by 10. Now 11 by 10 is equal to 1.1 thus this is 1.1 to the power of n. Now 1.21 is nothing but the square of 1.1 because if I write 1.1 whole square it will give me 1.21. So 1.1 whole square I can write 1.21 as 1.1 whole square equal to 1.1 to the power of n. This will yield n equal to 2. Why? Because as you can see the bases on both sides are equal and we have to find out the index. So the index of the right hand side will be equal to the index of the left hand side because the bases are equal and this gives me n is equal to 2 years. Thus 2 years is the period of time for which Rashi had lent a sum of money rupees 1 lakh to her friend at the rate of 10%.